So one of the most important things is setting up the ins and outs of your audio so you can record and hear playback correctly. Well, okay, let's take a look at some hardware that we're gonna need to record. So first we're gonna look at this gold guy. Um, this is a quarter inch to eighth inch adapter. Now this adapter we can use for recording our guitar tracks um, because guitar cables are a quarter inch and the input on all Macs are an eighth inch input jack. Um, we're gonna need this adapter. But actually I would not recommend using an adapter like this. There's different forms, but um, I would suggest using this adapter or not adapter, but a cable. Um, which is a quarter inch to uh, the eighth inch cable. Now the reason for that is if we take a look at this gold adapter, um, your cable, your guitar cable is gonna be right here and it's gonna be a lot of weight that's being put on that eighth inch input jack on your Mac. And over time that weight is gonna, it's gonna pretty much jack up your your input on your Mac. So you, you definitely don't want to do that. Um, so I would just suggest getting a cable and that, that reduces all of the weight with the cable. Moving on, um, let's go ahead and take a look at an XLR cable and you're going to need an XLR to eighth inch adapter once again, because the only input that you have on your Mac is, is an eighth inch. So, you definitely want a female because microphones are males. So you want a female because males go into female. <laughs> and so you definitely want that. Ideally, you're going to want to eventually get one of these bad boys. This is actually the currently the audio interface that I'm using. Uh, it's a Sapphire 6 USB. Um, they have USB or Firewire. Firewire is more ideal because it is faster, so it will produce a, a better audio quality. But ideally you want to use one of these devices um, for your recording needs because these devices actually transform your audio waves into digital signals, digital audio waves, so your computer can read it. And that's all this device does. So with that being said, um, you'll definitely produce better quality audio with one of these devices. And at the same time, you won't need these different, different adapters or special cables um, because these audio interfaces have XLR inputs and quarter inch input jacks. So you'll be covered with that. And last but not least, we have one of the most funnest, is that a word? funnest uh, hardware pieces, which is a MIDI, MIDI controller. Now this is the controller that I'm going to be using throughout this uh, tutorial series. And this one is the M-Audio Oxium 25 key. It's pretty simple. It's, you can't really, it's not like a full uh, 49 key or anything bigger. So I can't really use two hands, but doesn't mean that I can't create that because you, with this keyboard, you could transpose. It does have um, pads on it and tons of features that we can uh, use this MIDI keyboard. MIDI keyboards uh, control the software instruments. So if you wanted to add in saxophone into your song, you would actually use this. You would actually be playing on a piano. That's why I said in the previous videos, um, the, in the piano lessons, piano is a good instrument to learn because it's so universal. And this is one example why it's universal because you, if you can play on the piano a melody, then you can pretty much play any instrument ever known to man, as long as it's in software MIDI form. And that pretty much sums up the hardware that you're gonna need. So go out and buy those and rack up your Guitar Center bill. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, Please send them to request at mahalo.com. Well, I do remember the darling, the time we spent on my roof just staring out into the sky. We could see the light of life. And then you told me that.
you